Hello and welcome back dear viewers to another installment of Bad Gear for Adults. Today's machine is another pretty obscure synth as it's basically a recycled Kawai K4R that has been loaded with 80s drum samples. Kawai today are mostly known for their pianos but they have quite a synth heritage too. The K1 was introduced as an affordable low spec alternative into PCM based synths. If you're curious I've done a video on the K41 you can check out. The K template was also applied to other K series synths. They often offered affordable alternatives to various synth technologies, like hybrid digital analog synthesis with the K3 or additive synthesis with the K5. The K4 updated the concept of the K1 by adding more and higher quality sampled waveforms and what some say are still the best sounding digital filters. K4s were used by a ton of rising electronic music artists in the early 90s, as they offered quality sound on a budget. If you compare the K4R, the K4's REC version and the XT5 it becomes immediately clear that they share more than just a close resemblance. And Kawai didn't just recycle the K4R's shell, but it did essentially recycle the K4R in its entirety. The XT5 is a K4R internally too, so what Kawai seems to have done was to simply replace the K4 samples with percussive samples and modify the firmware a bit. While this might come across as a cheap cash in, it's actually great because what you'll end up with in this way is a drum synth with extensive sound editing capabilities that go far beyond what most, if any, drum machine offers. The synth engine allows you to combine up to 4 out of the 256 waveforms into one single sound. While most sounds are PCM samples, there are still 41 single cycle waveforms too that enable you to create more tonal sounds. This blend of waveforms can then be shaped by dual ADSR, dual digital resonant low pass filters as well as ring modulation between the selected waveforms. All in all, there are a lot of options to create unique percussive and even tonal sounds. 88 of these single sounds can be saved and arranged in drum kits in multi-mode. In this mode, each key of the keyboard can essentially be assigned to one single sound. While sounds can be played tonally in single mode, in multi-mode each sound works like a single shot sample. Each key can be assigned with the pitch value of the single sound used, so you can still set up a drum kit with some tonal sections. As a last step, the individual waveforms in a single sound and the individual single sounds in a multi-patch can be assigned to the main or one of the six individual outputs of the XT5. Before we listen to some of the sounds, let's have a quick look at the unit itself. As already mentioned, the XT5 itself is basically a rebadged K4R. So if you've ever owned or even seen a K4R, you know what to expect. Your overall design is wonderfully 80s sci-fi. On the left, there is a slot for the optional DC series memory cards and two sliders for volume and data input. Next, there's a small 2x16 LC display as well as an array of buttons for patch select and editing. On the very right, there's the always welcome headphone input. And if you ever used an actual rack of synths, you'll be as happy as I am to see a front facing power button. On the rather minimalist back you'll find a power connector, a stereo master out as well as six individual outputs and on the very right a MIDI trio. While we're at it let's have a look inside. While I don't own a K4R from pictures I've seen online, the XT5 looks, except for what I guess are the ROM chips, identical to the K4R from the inside. So I guess it's really only down to the operation system stored on the EEPROM as well as the sample stored in the ROM chips. I really wonder what would happen if I transplanted an K4R EEPROM into my XT5. Maybe someday we'll find out. So enough looking at the box, let's listen to the sounds it can create. Starting with some stock single sounds played tonally.
Next, let's have some fun with the factory drum kits. Now, of course, it's time to see if I can make some sounds of my own. I had planned to use a controller template I found online, but for some reason I couldn't get it to work at all, so instead I had to resort to some menu diving on the machine itself. Luckily, it turned out that the menu structure is really very intuitive, and it's quite easy and fast to use. So here's the drum pattern I made with a mix of stock and my own drum sounds. Finally, as you might already know, I always aim to create a demo track done entirely on the machine itself. Because of the voice limitations I recorded multiple tracks one after another. But still, it's all directly from the XT5, no FX added at all.
So, once again, we've reached the end of the video. I hope I was able to give you guys an idea of what can be achieved with the X-T5. I for once really enjoy this machine, as it's wonderfully weird as a concept and have quite a soft spot for weird drum synths. I've already featured a number of weird drum synths, together with the Waldorf Rack Attack and the Volker Drum, the X-T5 forms my whole trilogy of drum synth weirdness. If you know any other wildly weird drum synths, let me know in the comments. As always, see you soon with another synth.